Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm probably just going to select all of these faces right here and extrude them and scale them down. There we go. Let's go to vertices and let's go to the front. Let's kind of let's tweak those around a little bit. Get a bit better flow. And let's get rid of uh, the faces in the center. And that's about right. But I also want a uh, division kind of going this way along here. I always want a lot of divisions going every which way. But uh, we're pretty early on to worry about that. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and kind of, so I'm going to add another loop right around there. And let's grab those again. Let's go to the right, grab move, let's pull them out a little bit. And let's kind of get the shape right. corner of the mouth. So let's just pull this stuff up. I'm going to scale that down on Z, down to zero. Pull it back. Just doing some basic shaping. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Um, well, let's grab this loop that is the mouth right now. I'm going to actually rotate it because the top of the mouth is actually going to stick out just a little bit further than the bottom. I'm going to scale it down a little bit on Z as well. Let's rotate it back a little. That was a little bit too much. Okay, let's grab this. This is going to be part of the nose area. So I want to pull that down a little. Pretty much just flat right now. And another thing I want to do, it might be a little bit early. Is, well, let's go back to the front. There's always something that needs a little bit more tweaking. Okay. So I want to kind of start to get the the nose kind of roughed in, um, but I want to add a division right here. But I want it to lead down. I want to rotate that edge again, and we're just going to uh, let's undo that. And what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to change the flow a little bit right here. I'm going to delete this quad and I'm going to actually, let's delete this one too. Okay. Let's go to edges. Make sure we don't have one in the middle. Okay. So I'm going to add a division right here in the top of the mouth. Right there. And tweak it just a little bit. Like so. Okay. And then here, I'm going to extrude this, grab all these, and form a face. Let's pull this one down a little bit to kind of start rounding it. Let's extrude that one until they hit in the center. Let's go to edges. Let's create a face here. I'm going to add another loop. No, I'm not.
doing something wrong. Oh well, let's go ahead and add a loop. I did do something wrong, um, but that's okay. I'll show you what that is uh, in a minute. Let's pull this up. Face, because I could have done this just a lot easier. Face, F for face. Let's grab that. Whoops. Whoops, keep hitting the wrong button. I wanted this to flow into here more. So if we hit Alt M, let's just uh, collapse those at center. There we go. Gives us this kind of ugly thing. It's not really that ugly, but pull that in. Pull this in. Okay. I'm just going to grab those and go to the right. I have a rough idea already what I want the nose to be like. So I'm just going to kind of throw it in there to be quite honest. Let's grab these and let's go to the right again. Pull those up and out. Let's get a little bit more of this brow ridge going on. Just gotta scale those down a little bit on Y. Actually we'll just scale them right down to just about zero. Pull them forward. Let's pull that one forward a little bit as well. Okay, and these, let's grab those, move them forward on Y, let's pull this one back. Okay, it's actually not quite, uh, quite the geometry I was going for, for this, so uh, we're just going to get rid of that. Add a division right here. And let's just kind of weld these together. Alt M. Let's just uh, add center. Okay. Alt M. Add center. There we go. I'm going to add another division right here. There we go. Right there. <laughs> and <coughs> I'm going to go with Alt S. And that's going to. Um, it's a normal scale. It scales it out directly away from the mesh along the vertex normals. That's okay. Let's grab these and go to the front. I'm going to pull those in just a little. And start shaping up the nose a little bit more. Pull that out a Y a little. Okay, that's not very much. I'm gonna pull this out on X. Okay. Now it might not seem uh, like there's a lot going on with that, but that's a different way to do noses. I'm just going to delete those faces. I'm going to add a loop right here. Whoops. My, no my nose. Um, my mouse was kind of acting up on me. Let's go to the right. grab that. I'm just going to pull it down. Actually, I'm going to pull it right up here. I'm going to add another loop right here. Let's take it pretty close and pull that down. There we go. <coughs> now, I want to have uh, everywhere I go, I like to have uh, good loops. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's extrude that and scale it. That's actually a pretty good loop. I'm fine with that. 
but uh, where it leads in right here, this is a vertex that has five polys as opposed to four. So that's not as good. It's not really a super big issue right now, but you know, it could lead to problems later. <coughs> I want to add another loop that's going to kind of lead down from the tip of the nose right here back down into here, but the geometry is not right for it. So I'm not going to worry about this edge right now because we have more work to do on our nose. Let's actually pull that down. Our nose isn't finished. This is just our uh, <coughs> rough sketch of a nose. So in order to get this uh, loop going, I'm going to rip that V. And it doesn't seem like it did anything. V. That's really odd. There it goes. Don't ask me why I did that, but it did. So let's add the division right here. Let's go to the right. And I'm just going to grab these, pull them down a little bit, like so. Go to vertices. And I'm actually going to, actually, sorry, let's grab this edge and subdivide it. And let's undo that. Let's actually grab that face and kill it. X face, X face. We'll get rid of that too. And then we're going to add a loop right here. There we go. Now let's go back to these. Actually, we'll just, we can do a lot of this stuff just using vertices. Let's go to the right. I'm going to grab that start taking it in just a little bit and then I'm going to grab these two hit V there we go and I'm going to create another face right here F for face let's grab that and just pull it down and back a little and you can see that creates this nice curvature right here so let's extrude that just a little bit and let's go to the front Let's pull it out a little bit as well. And then select all those vertex, vertex, vertices. <laughs> Make a face out of it. And now let's go to edges. Grab this one, this one, F. This one, this one, F. That's what I was looking for. And we'll weld these. Alt M at last. It's going to basically target weld it if you're familiar with 3D Studio Max. Sorry for bringing up Max and Blender World, but let's just take that in a little. And let's actually go to the front. Let's pull that up. Huh. Let's weld that at last. Okay. Oh, I know. I remember what that was. That was just a second ago when I was trying to get the everything rounded out, or I'm sorry, not rounded out, but uh, split. Pull that out. I don't like that uh, I can't see it from the front. There we go. That just means that our head's going to be really concave over there. <coughs> As opposed to convex. And I could just open up an additional view, but we'll be okay. Let's pull this one down this one down. Keep going with it. Okay, that should be a little bit better. Now that we've got this big empty space right here, and I'm kind of at ends as to what I want to do as far as putting a triangle in or, or not. Let's go to edges. And I'm actually going to divide this. Right there, you can't see 